morning and welcome to the 12th Sunday after Pentecost on this rock. August 23rd, 2020. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and, and blessed, blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and to, and the, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are all the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today would hearken to his voice. The first reading. A reading from Isaiah, chapter 51, verses 1 through 6. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, but I blessed him and made him many. For the Lord will comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give heed to me, my nation, for a teaching will go out for me, and my justice for a light to the peoples. I will bring near my deliverance swiftly. My salvation has gone out, and my arms will rule the peoples. The coastlands wait for me, and for my arm they hope. Lift your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath, for the heavens will vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment, and those who live on it will die like gnats. But my salvation will be forever, and my deliverance will never be ended. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 138, page 793 in the prayer book. I will give thanks to you, O God, with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. The Lord will make good his purpose for me. O Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. The second reading. A reading from Romans, chapter 12 verses 1 through 8. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, 
each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. Yogi Berra. This is one of my favorite sayings from Yogi Berra. It's called a yogiism. He had been associated with uh, many comical and quizzical sayings. And this one leaves you asking, wait a minute, which way do I go? Which way do I go when I come to a fork in the road? What will happen when I do? I don't know. But I've always believed that life has more forks than it does spoons. So we'll stay with forks. And my favorite forks are T-shaped. They are designed around a stop sign where you must decide, am I going to go to the left or to the right? I'm talking about the simple choice between two options that one must choose. You may have seen the movie Castaway starring Tom Hanks. And Tom, uh, at the end of the film, is sitting in his car and he's looking at a T-shaped crossroad and he doesn't know which way to go. He must decide which direction should his life take next after spending years on a deserted island losing everything and everyone in his life. Now don't worry, I'm not going to give away the ending of the film. I encourage you to watch it. Uh, hopefully you would enjoy it. But I mention forks in the road because that's precisely where Jesus has led his disciples. He has stopped them at a place called Caesarea Philippi. He asks his disciples, 
Who do people say the Son of Man is? Now Jesus has chosen this place because it is a spot filled with pagan gods and symbols and all manner of worship. It seemed like a perfect stop to ask his disciples what do they feel about Jesus. The disciples are quick to answer with many options. John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, just to name a few. Plenty of answers for just one question. It doesn't, however, address the fork in the road, does it? It leaves things unsettled and up for grabs. But some questions need an answer. And so Jesus asks his disciples, what do you think? Who do you think I am? And Simon Peter answered immediately, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. The disciples' bold answer is right on target and seems to rise quickly from his heart. There's no hesitation on his part. While he often spoke without thinking beforehand, this time his words are filled with faith and truth. Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. But, my, but by my Father in heaven. And on this rock I will build my church. Peter received a profound blessing from his Master and Lord. Jesus offers Peter the keys of the kingdom, an expression that embolden and confound the church for centuries. What did Jesus mean, keys of the kingdom? Is Peter a rock? He was the leader of the twelve and an apostle of great faith. His name, Peter, actually means rock. However, in the Episcopal Church, we believe something else. We believe that the rock is not Peter himself, but rather Peter's strong declaration of faith. You are the Messiah. You are the Christ. You are the Son of the living God. It is on this rock this rock of faith, that our Christian faith is founded. Jesus is more to us than a teacher or a preacher or even a prophet. He is our Christ, our Messiah, our Lord and Savior. He is the one who brought salvation into the world. Knowing this and believing this, the time is right to make a turn in the road. Accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is life-changing. Once the disciples made that decision, they would not be able to walk the same road in the same way. They must face that their lives and their preaching will be different. Perhaps it is time for each one of us listening today to do the same. Change our hearts and walk a different road with the Son of the living God. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. 
And now our hymn for today is hymn 558 from the 1982 hymnal, Faith of Our Fathers. <laughs> Continue with the Apostles' Creed, page 96. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Grant, O merciful God, that your church being gathered together in unity of your Holy Spirit 
may show forth your power among all people to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Coronavirus Litany. And after each petition, I will say, let us pray to the Lord. And the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, at your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global pandemic of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Grant us patience, health, and reassurance during our time of isolation and waiting. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be with those who are unemployed or struggling financially because of this virus. Help them find the resources they need to take care of themselves and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk. May they know your protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be with our local, state, national, and world leaders. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of all they are meant to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray either silently or aloud for all those who are sick and suffering and for those who have died. We offer our thanksgiving and any special prayers that we may have. We pray for our church, especially Michael, the presiding bishop and all clergy, Susan, our bishop, and lay leaders. We ask for guidance and strength in this difficult time. We continue with the general thanksgiving, page 101. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, mercies we, we are unworthy servants, servants give you humble, humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world a knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank you all for being with us uh, at our service today. I hope that you will uh, share that with others, especially family and friends. I'd like you to also feel welcome to join us at the Zoom coffee hour later this morning and on Wednesday at 5 p.m. for Bible study. Thank you and God bless.